10 Best Places to Visit in Vermont Vermont is a state that begs to be photographed. The entire state is like a gigantic picture postcard that is filled with scenic beauty at every turn. Historic buildings and towns that are considered some of the prettiest in the United States. Fall is a delight as the leaves turn their gorgeous colors. Winter is great for skiing and snow activities. Spring and summer offer a plethora of festivals and outdoor activities, such as camping and hiking. Yep, Vermont's got it all. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Vermont. Number 10. Woodstock. Woodstock is a quaint little mountain town that has elevated tourism to an art form. If you're looking for the classic New England getaway, then this is it. There are dozens of cozy bed and breakfasts as well as luxury resort accommodations. Woodstock has a famous equestrian venue at the Green Mountain Horse Association, offering events and trail rides. Other activities include biking, golfing, shooting, fishing, and visiting working farms. During winter, add downhill and cross-country skiing, sledding, skating, and snowshoeing. They have art and historical museums, as well as historic sites like the popular Marsh Billings Rockefeller National Historic Park, which offers tours of the grounds, mansion, and surrounding forest. Number 9. Quechi Gorge. Quechi Gorge State Park is located along U.S. Route 4 and provides visitors with awe-inspiring views of Quechi Gorge. It is the deepest gorge in the state and was created by glacial movement roughly 13,000 years ago. There are several viewing points along Route 4 offering picturesque views of the Ataukashi River more than 160 feet below. Those who enjoy hiking will find a trail along the gorge, a picnic area, campsite, and large playing field lie next to the trail. Guests can learn about the cultural and natural history of the park, including its woolen mill roots of 1869, from the park's interpretive programs. Number 8. Manchester. Manchester is nestled in the Green Mountains, a world away from big city life. One of the best ways to experience an overview of the area is with backroad discovery tours. These seasonal tours introduce visitors to Vermont specialties like an alpaca farm, maple shack, and a Norman Rockwell exhibit. Hildeen, the former Lincoln family home, the Manchester Historical Society, and the American Museum of Fly Fishing are popular points of interest here. Hills Alive presents a calendar of fine and performance arts activities. In winter, go skiing at Bromley Ski Resort, ride a sleigh at Taylor Farm, or ice skate at Riley Rink. Number 7. Montpelier. Montpelier, the capital of Vermont, has the distinction of being the smallest capital city in the country. Located in the Green Mountains along the Winooski River, Montpelier's historic downtown is filled with colorful boutiques and independently owned shops offering everything from chocolates to books to toys. Restaurants and bars come alive at night with eclectic cuisine and live music. Visitors will appreciate the gold-domed capital, its art installations, and its outdoor event space. Local galleries, music venues, live theater performances, and a free summer concert series entertain visitors all year round. Nature lovers can stroll through Hubbard Park's natural beauty and enjoy scenic views. Number 6. Shelburne. Shelburne is a quiet town seven miles south of Burlington, the Vermont's largest city. Founded in 1763, it was named for William Petty, Earl of Shelburne and British Prime Minister. It has deep roots in farming, and several farms, including vineyards, are open to the public, its most visited attraction, however, just may be one devoted to making your kids happy. Open for tours, the Vermont Teddy Bear Co. has been making cute, cuddly teddy bears since 1981, and is one of Vermont's more popular attractions. If you like water better, Shelburne is located on Lake Champlain. Number 5. Killington Resort. If you're an adventuresome skier, you may want to hit the slopes at Killington Resort on Vermont's second highest mountain. It's known as the Beast of the East because it's the largest vertical drop in New England. Killington, which opened in 1958, is the largest ski area in the eastern United States. While Killington Peak is the primary ski area, 
The resort also offers skiing across six mountains. There are 155 trails that handle skiers from beginners to experts and 21 lifts to carry them up the mountains. A few of the trails have ramps and jumps. Number 4. Grafton. Grafton, considered one of New England's prettiest towns, got its name in a unique way. Originally known as Tomlinson, the right to rename it garnered $5 and some rum in an action. The winning bidder named it after his hometown of Grafton, Massachusetts. Homes and buildings have been restored to their historic grandeur, so Grafton looks pretty much like it might have a century or two ago. Be sure to check out the Grafton Inn, which has been operating as a hotel since 1801. Standing guard over the village is the iconic white church that was built in 1858. Number 3. Champlain Islands. The Lake Champlain Islands are a collection of isles on the sixth biggest lake in the United States. They offer a world of water activities all year round with 200 miles of shoreline offering everything from swimming and sailing to ice fishing and snowmobiling. These islands are ideal for visitors looking for a slower pace, culture, rich history, and scenic views. Guests can travel the Lake Champlain byway to access the 30-mile-long aisles, and have the chance partake in various themed activities such as chews and brews. Each of the islands offers its own unique attributes, such as South Hero, which features Vermont's first vineyard. Number 2. Stowe. Vermont's Winter Playground is a picturesque mountain retreat that looks like a scene from a Christmas card. Combined with the magnificence of Mount Mansfield, it's easy to see why it's been dubbed the ski capital of the East. Over 20 feet of annual snowfall allow visitors to ski and snowboard November through April. They can also ice skate, dog sled, sleigh ride, snowshoe, snowmobile, ice fish, and cozy up around a warm fire at night. In spring, guests can experience Vermont's tradition of making maple syrup. Summer activities include zip lining, fly fishing, and golfing, and of course, autumn here is all about the stunning foliage. Number 1. Burlington. The residents of Burlington are dedicated to environmental stewardship and it shows like-minded visitors will enjoy biking the Greenway, a forested corridor that runs the entire length of the city, from here, there is access to over 30 miles of trails spreading across abundant natural areas via 127 paths, 35 diverse parks, several beaches, and the Lake Champlain marinas afford visitors a plethora of recreational activities. The Community Boathouse Marina also provides visitors with an upscale dining and sunset viewing experience. The Burlington Earth Clock, constructed by Circles of Peace in Oak Ledge Park, is a must-see installation unique to the city.